are delighted to say that Paul Crowley joins us pitch side in a very windy witness. So thank you, Paul, because I'm sure you'd rather be inside now. We spoke about it pretty much. We said this was going to be the real test tonight. Your boys really proved they could do it, didn't they? Yeah, they started off with the worst possible start. Two soft tries, backing off on edges when we're numbered up and we should be going forward. and making. Uh, so we, we told them that we need to start when we're numbered up, make some tackles, stay a little bit tighter and, and be more better 20 metres off their goal line. And we still didn't get it completely right. But in the second half, after not making touch twice and, and inviting him on and trying to win it again, even in the last four minutes, uh, Hakim danced about and, and coughed the ball up when another try with a couple of minutes to go to put the catamaran in the pigeons, but great to get the win here. I don't think I've won a year as a player or, or as a coach before, so it's just a great win for us and, and to continue our unbeaten run. Paul, I'd just like to say congratulations on a fantastic performance. I must apologise. I called witness before the game. I thought you'd struggle with his field, so I was wrong. What do I know about rugby? But I thought the try just before half-time was vital. What were your messages at half-time? Because I thought all the, all, all the effort-based areas, I thought you had numbers in the frame, the scramble on goal line D, the supporting attack. I thought you yeah, out in fuse how infused with us in all areas, but what was the message at half-time to the boys? Well, more composure. You know, we weren't the ones under pressure. They're at home, they've gone four straight wins. They're a big club, big stadium, you know, so they've got to, they've got to get the win. We don't have to win the game twice. We hit the front for the first time, and then we got a couple of kicks that put the pressure on, and, and all we wanted to do was, was grind, and, and, and again, we tried to win the game again, and we didn't need to do that, but that's something we've got to learn in the championship against the top-end teams. Witness are a top-end team, They've proved that when they've gone to Halifax and, and places like that. So we just got to be, you know, become. I think you've proved tonight that you are a top <laughs> yeah. end team. Yeah, we you are. are a top we, end team we, now. We I think like you've proved that tonight. Yeah, we just like to go under the radar a yeah. little bit. We like the underdog tag, especially coming up from from Championship One. But you know, we did really well in the Championship last time, and I think we went to League, got beat by a point in the in the cup and stuff like that. So we can play. We've said to our boys to win games at rugby at this level, you've got to play. You can't come and five drives kick and, and go set for set. And we didn't do that. I thought we scored some great tries. Hakim, not the greatest defender, but boy, he's hard to handle on edges and, and, and stuff like that. And that's what we are. We, we entertain as we like to entertain. We've got a great group of fa fans. You've seen them there chanting on, and, and we get big crowds at home. And they want to see football, Cumbrian people, you know, they're very knowledgeable. and, and you definitely it, it, brought the Cumbrian weather with you, Paul. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so yeah. cold, it's so cold, I know. But great to get the win, just so Absolutely chuffed for the lads, for the work they put in. Paul, I, I thought your attack was outstanding, but I thought your defence, the intent, there was a couple of penalties you possibly gave away with maybe a bit of over-enthusiasm, but you must be happy with that defence and, and the physicality that your boys showed tonight. Yeah, especially the speed of the game. And, and we said we were committing two in the tackle and, and we wanted three and four and, and, and a good peel, you know, especially on this track. And we got it later on and uh, we lost a rook a couple of times. I thought Luke Cresswell at the back pulled off some brilliant tackles and he's done that all year. Last week he pulled off a tackle that, uh, you know, it was unbelievable so everyone's working hard and for us to win games of rugby we've got to work hard as a group and once we start believing our press and start taking our foot off the gas you know become an ordinary team so we're going to do that all year we we're not complacent complacency is the enemy of winners so we, we just keep working hard as a group josh johnson and jack wells coming in you know sat right into our systems and done really well josh has been here before and he jumped at the chance to come back and joe bullock and hankinson they've come through our systems as well and they come here on the back are not getting in anywhere and, and they've gone on to play Super League, both of them are playing Super League at the moment, so we've got a good culture and a good group of players and we'll continue to work hard. We certainly do, and Paul back in Challenge Cup action next week, how important is it to you to progress in that? Yeah, massive really, um, we've got a good squad a big enough squad to, to progress in it, it's all about money, if we can get a big Super League club at home, my mates Richard Yeager, Paul Rowley so if we can get one of them sides at home and play against them it'd be brilliant for us to, to get them and it'll set us up for the season financially so, you know, we've got to get through work. And first, they're a good team, well drilled, well coached. Had a bit of adversity last week, but they've done well up to now. And the championship can do that to you. You can win some weeks and do well, and the next week you get pumped. So you've got to be on it every week or else you get burned. Absolutely. And you mentioned the underdog tag there. How are the boys feeling? Because they are certainly proving any doubters that were there wrong. Uh, definitely, I think a couple of a couple of fans wanted me out at the start of the year, or even uh, <laughs> they don't uh, now. We even, heard him before we came on air. Yeah, 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 <laughs> but last year we won the league, and some still wanted me out. So <laughs> that's the nature of, of rugby league. So you know, we're just proving them wrong. It, it gives inspiration to us. You know, we're a close knit group, very close knit. Nobody gets in. Nobody knows what goes on. You know yourselves. We've all coached a, a professional rugby, so we know nobody knows what really goes on at a club. But we know, and we work hard. We rock up every session. We haven't got the best 
facilities, we haven't got the best gym, it's a bit like the old Rocky film where we've got no gym and, and we, we, we just beg, steal and borrow, we go to the boxing with Jeff Moses and, and people like that and they look after us but we work really hard as a group and everybody at the club is working so hard to survive in the championship and, put, and push on to be a mid-table or top-end championship team. Well Paul, thank you so much, huge congratulations once again for uh, your continued unbeaten <laughs> run of form, incredible, thank you for joining us Pitch.